We are living in a time with huge problems in the financial system. Some countries, as the USA or some of the European community, are on the brink of default. Could basic income help to improve the situation, or would such a scheme tighten the problems? Because where to take the necessary money? Yeah, well, the uh, uh, the debt, I think the debt problem is is really overblown. Um, the it's it's overblown if you handle it right. Um, debts are a problem if uh, if you have foreign debt that you can't pay, uh, then that can be a very big problem for your economy. Uh, but places like the EU and the United States do not have foreign debt. And what I mean, what I mean by foreign debt is debt denominated in a foreign currency. It doesn't matter so much who you owe the money to, but it is what currency is it denominated in. Um, because if it's in your own currency, your government controls the currency. They create the money with which to pay the debt. The danger of that, of course, if you create too much money, then you will create inflation. Now, if it's denominated in a foreign currency, then you don't have all those options. You can't just print the money. You can, you can create money, but you have to exchange it into, into the foreign currency in order to pay the debt back. And that's what got so many South American countries in trouble with debt. And that's what got Germany in trouble with debt during the Weimar period. Um, they had they owed money in British pounds and they couldn't just print that and they're trying to print their way out of it. They called it caused hyperinflation. But when you have as European countries do and the United States does debt denominated in your own currency and you control that currency, you can do what lately they're calling it quantitative easing. You can create a lot of words for it. You can buy up your own debt that you you created with money out of thin air. Now that, and you can also you can also finance a basic income with money you create out of thin air. The danger, of course, is inflation. But we know how to keep inflation from getting excessive. We're much better at this than we used to be. You, uh, the the key to the the, the key to it, understanding how to work inflation is that. Uh, it, the key to, to understanding how to work inflation in an environment like we're in now is that we're in a deflationary environment. Uh, with the worldwide recession going on, the U.S. has actually, during a few years since the 2008 financial crisis, has actually, fall, has actually experienced falling prices rather than rising prices. And falling prices, on average, are very bad because, because firms owe money in that is, and firms and individuals owe money that's denominated in nominal dollars. So if their incomes are going down, but their debt is fixed in dollars, they risk bankruptcy. And that's one of the things that causes so many bankruptcies in a recession, is prices are going down, they're selling less, but they still gotta pay their debts off in, this, in the old currency. But when, so when you're in a deflationary environment, you're free to print some more money and get some more money in circulation, which can get businesses going and uh, can, it can make the recession less worse off. And when inflation starts to creep up, that's when you know you've got to do something about it. You must be ready then to tax that money back when, if and when inflation starts to creep up. Uh, if you don't do that, then you can have a lot of inflation later on. Um, so you need, if you've got a government that's careful with the strategies of injecting money in the economy when it's needed and taking the money out of the economy when inflation starts to show up, it can manage its debt much better. And a little bit of inflation would not be such a, such a bad thing in Europe and the United States right now. I think we're getting a little bit paranoid about inflation when we should, our first concern to be unemployment, inflation, only to the extent, inflation is only the extent, it's important, it, it, it's only important to the extent that it affects real things. Inflation is just how we denominate things. It's purely a, what we call a nominal value. It's, it's just, uh, it's just if, but if it affects some, a real value like unemployment, 
like the level of growth, then inflation can get to be a problem. But it usually doesn't at moderate levels. If you've got five, even 10% inflation, it usually doesn't have many real effects, negative effects on the economy. And a little bit of inflation would lower the debt burden because our debts are denominated in our own currency. If their own currency goes down, uh, then the value of our debt goes along with it, down along with it, and it is it will lower the government's debt, and will also lower household debt. And we got a big problem now with people owing money that they can't pay. A little inflation would ease that burden on everybody and get the economy going. People, well, I'm not, a lot of people are afraid to do this because they have a misconception about inflation. That they think inflation is prices going up, it's things getting more expensive relative to my salary. That's not inflation. Your salary is a price. Inflation is all is all prices going up together. When you have inflation, your wages, your salary goes up. So it doesn't really hurt you. Your your the prices go up, your salary goes up. Um, it's it's a mistake to think that everything's gotten more expensive. Uh, you just got a raise that only keeps pace with inflation, um, but you get that raise. And there's very good evidence that people's wages do keep pace with inflation. Inflation does not cause people's wages to go down. Uh, now, in, but in, you know, we don't have to have inflation. Inflation is, it would have, injecting money would have one good effect right now, even if it doesn't cause inflation, it could get the economy moving a bit more than it is. But even if it does cause inflation, I'm saying we we're, we don't need to worry about it as much as central banks are now today, especially in Europe with this debt crisis that's largely in their own heads because they're, they have centralized the power of creating money, but they have not centralized the power of spending the money. The spending the money is still done at the state level and they need to be spending money at the European level uh, so they can inject some money into the economy. And a very good way to do it would be with a basic income, uh, even a temporary basic income. If they just mailed every citizen in the EU a check, um, just mail everybody a check and say, here, go out and spend this um, or pay your debts off with it or something, that could have a big kickstart for a lot of the economy. Or they could use that money to buy up some of the success debt. Say, we'll buy a certain amount of debt from every country. You know, if they want to be fair about it, they don't want to take only the debt from the poorer countries. They could pretty much wipe out the debts of some of the countries that own less and then take a big chunk of the debt that uh, the countries that own more own. Um, that could go a long way to solving this crisis, and they could do it with, with money that they just create.